So he's talking about technique, um, which is quite simple, really. Um, and he uses it in his yoga practice when he's practicing postures, but he also uses it in uh, meditation technique or when he's finding things uh, difficult or challenging. Um, and it's first thing you do is you breathe. So you focus on the breath, you deepen your breath, then you relax, uh, then you feel, so you notice what you're feeling and what feelings arise. And rather than um, move away from those feelings, you kind of just let them come. Then you watch, uh, you observe your feelings, you observe what's going on. And then you just kind of allow it to happen while still staying in this very relaxed uh, state, if you like. So we can use that in yoga practice, we, especially if we're doing a posture that perhaps challenges us, that brings up um, lots of feelings and might initially make us tense. Uh, we can use this technique. So one thing that I find is when I'm doing meditation practices i often find that i'm gripping in my belly yeah and i think this is just this comes from years and years of doing uh, vinyasa style yoga where we're kind of we learn to pull the abdomen in so i have to constantly keep reminding myself and noticing is my belly soft is my belly relaxed and actually he talks about uh this uh keep coming back to the belly and to keep relaxing it so i just wanted to talk a little bit just read a little bit uh because he, he he talks a little bit about each part and i think it's useful to just go over that before we go into the guided meditation so on breathing the first step in the process of connecting with the wisdom of prana is conscious breathing using the full yogic breath or diaphragmatic breath Anything that brings us back to the switching station of the breath has the potential to loosen our identification with the gross body and to heighten our connection with the pranic body. What happens when we redirect our attention to breath is that we immediately enter the world of energy, of movement, of arising and passing away of constant change. There is no distance to travel to this world. We are right there. And then on the second part, which is relaxing, muscular tension in the body can help to inhibit the flow of energy, sensation and feeling, keeping areas of the body defended against the wave of energy. The most effective area to begin relaxing is usually the belly. So you can have this internal mantra of soft belly. It's so simple. In the midst of the waves of life, just soften the belly. When you soften the belly, you immediately soften your breath and take deep diaphragmatic breaths. This automatically shifts our entire energy experience. It grounds us. So we can feel energy flowing all the way down to the lower part of the body, to our feet and our legs. Suddenly, what appear to be dense and solid thoughts become permeable to the wave of energy. They're broken up. Feel. Feeling in this technique is an active state. It does not mean just having feelings. It means moving actively towards the sensations, the energy, the emotions, and into them. We breathe into them as if we could send breath right into their epicenter. Actively feeling means turning our attention minutely towards our moment by moment experience, dropping what we think about what is happening and judgments about it. 
and becoming fully absorbed at the level of sensation, feeling and energy. Watch. There can now be profound and natural shift to witness consciousness. Just being with experience exactly as it is. As we become absorbed in the witness, we're free both to participate in and to stand apart from our experience. The watcher or observer is also the coach of the entire experience. Allow. We don't try to control our energy experience. We're free to surrender to the wave of sensation, of feeling, and energy. In these moments of freedom, we can let life as it is touch us because we know in our core that everything is already okay. We just let it happen. We trust the process and our capacity to ride the waves of life increases dramatically. So let's just see if we can go through this process. So first thing is to come to that soft belly. So just take your attention down to the belly. And I've been talking a bit about Buddha belly so just really letting your belly be soft and relaxing down into it and just noticing when you have a tendency to grip, when the tension starts to creep back in to that abdominal area, we'll just keep coming back to it. And as you relax the belly, start to let that breath come in. So as you breathe in, you can visualize, feel the breath filling up that soft belly. Try and direct your breath in and out through your nose. So the breath will come in a bit deeper. And see if you can relax as well around your ribs, around your chest area. So that as you breathe in, you can really feel this expansion space. And each time you exhale, just softening and letting go a little bit more, feeling your connection to the earth, feeling your physical presence. Relaxing your eyes. Relaxing your jaw. And start to relax more and more with that exhalation. Can you keep the Belly soft. Can you feel that rise and fall of the abdomen as you breathe in and out? And 
Notice where you can really relax into, but also notice where there might be tension and resistance. Where does tension keep creeping back in? The body has a natural patterning, physical, habitual patterning, and even as you sit, these will keep creeping back in. Notice how your breath is. And if your breath feels shallow today, then maybe just take a little bit of time trying to lengthen that exhalation, making that exhalation a little bit longer. And then hopefully you'll find that your inhale will start to expand and start to lengthen more as well. Soften the belly. And as you start to relax, Physically, start to notice how you're feeling. So what feelings, physical feelings, emotional, are around. And just allow yourself to explore them. Breathe into those feelings. Allow them to rise. And relaxing into it with the exhalation. Soften the belly. And observe. Observing how everything is in this present moment, in your now experience. Notice any gripping around the chest, around the abdomen. Try and ease it with the breath. You can keep going through this process of breathing, noticing the breath, relaxing with the breath.
sinking into it. Feeling, noticing. Feeling within the body, emotional, physical sensations. Observing how everything is and just allowing yourself to be here, fully absorbed in this present moment as things are without trying to shift or change anything. Just keeping that belly relaxed. And breathing deeply and fully. And knowing that whatever you're feeling, whatever you're experiencing right now is okay. Just let those feelings come, let them emerge. And breathe into them. following that wave of the breath in and out. your physical presence connected to the earth. And that flow of energy through you, part of you. Moving through you and beyond you into the air. Connecting you, connecting us in this present moment together. Relax the belly, let go. Feel the breath expansive, spacious. Feel the body relaxed and open. Mm. 
mind a little bit softer. Trusting and knowing that anything that you're feeling right now will shift, will change, will dissolve, will rise, will fall. But this steadiness, this stillness, Deep peace and calm will always be there. Just start to take a few deep breaths in, breathing in deeply. Fill the body up with breath. And exhale, sighing out. And again, filling the body up. And exhale, sighing out. And last one, see if you can breathe right into the abdomen. Fill the body up. And exhale, sighing out. And let that next breath that come in be very light. Feel that space and openness in the body now, relaxed and soft. And bring your hands to your heart center, gently bowing your head and opening the eyes. Ah, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Happy Easter Monday. Or another day, if you're watching this on another day. Happy other day. 